What up guys, Carolina Jackpot coming at you. It's Friday evening late. It's almost 11 p.m. and uh, having to go take care of a little bit of business. So I uh, thought I'd jump on here and make a quick video. Wasn't planning on making one today. Uh, it's been a full day of uh, work, 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 and more work. But <clears throat> I was proud to see today uh, all over 24-7 uh, sports, Facebook, Twitter, all over social media, the news. Uh, everywhere, really, uh, that uh, Coach Will Muschamp, uh, Coach Boom, uh, and his wife, Carol, uh, led uh, the entire football team uh, down at the University of South Carolina uh, as they uh, participated in a peaceful protest uh, in downtown Columbia today marching uh, in the, uh, the Vista area um, in the, uh, the, the the Black Lives Matter uh, protests um, or march or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll tell you, uh, make no mistake about it, I have voiced my opinion uh, on this particular channel quite a few times in the past uh, year or so about what I think about uh, Muschamp's acumen as a head coach. And quite frankly, I, I don't think a whole lot of it. Um, I think that uh, he's made a lot of piss-poor decisions, piss-poor hires. I think our recruiting right now is in the toilet. Uh, I think that... Excuse me, I'm hitting a few potholes. Uh, you know, I think that in a, an era where offense matters. He is a stick-in-the-mud coach uh, stuck in defensive-minded ways. And I think that's just not going to win ball games in the Southeastern Conference. And that has proved me out to be true, uh, especially last year. Uh, terrible. Terrible offensive performances in almost every game. In, in every game. Let's just go on ahead and say it. Let's cut into the chase and say what it is. But um, his football acumen, uh, his uh, success as a football coach uh, right now, uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about must champ the man. And uh, I'm proud of what he did today. I'm proud uh, of our football players. I'm proud of uh, the university for supporting them. Uh, and I'm proud of those uh, in our fan base who uh, stand up for what they did today and think that it was sort of the right thing to do. And it was the right thing to do. Um, you should uh, take a stand for something that you believe in. And, um, and I firmly believe that. Uh, you know, there is a certain sector of the population that's been treated uh, unfairly over the years. And uh, it's time that uh, people realize that and... Uh, you know, I, I'm all for uh, the trash talk as far as football goes or, you know, debating certain subjects back and forth. But I, overall, I'm just a guy who would like to see, um, I'd just like to see everybody get along. I mean, I really would. Uh, I'd like to see everybody be friends, brothers, sisters, whatever. Everybody be able to cut up together. Uh, everybody be able to break bread together. God knows I've broken a lot of bread in my time. Uh, just, uh, you know, a peaceful world to live in. Um, and I know that that's not going to be a reality uh, 100%. I understand there are going to be disagreements. There are going to be grievances. And there are going to be things that, uh, that don't go as planned. But um, for what he did today, uh, for standing up for um, what he and all of his football players believe is right, because it is what's right, uh, I salute uh, Coach Muschamp for that. And uh, I think that deep down, he's a good guy. I think that, uh, uh, that his wife is a good lady. God knows she's a good lady for standing beside Beside this man who's won four games in a season now twice in his career. <laughs> it's got to be. Um, right, yeah, uh, making a joke there. But um, in all honesty, you've got one Power 5 coach in this state. 
who walks the talk. He walks the talk, and then you've got one up in the corner of the state who just talks the talk. Who talks the talk. He's got some problems on his team in the past that he refused to uh, address or failed to address, uh, if we want to put it uh, in other terms. Now, we did do a podcast the other night on this particular channel, the Rob Comrade and Kel Show, and I did tell you that uh, I don't think that Clemson has those issues in their program uh, as a whole, but that was a bad look, and I think Dabo Sweeney realizes that. Maybe he should have taken his team uh, to a peaceful protest today as well. But um, it didn't happen. They didn't do it. But Muschamp, he walked the talk today. He walked the talk. And he impressed me with that. Um, Does this still change my views on him? No, it doesn't. Uh, Do I think that he will be the football coach at the University of South Carolina in 2021? Probably not. Um, Do I think he's going to succeed as head football coach somewhere else in the future? No, I don't. But today he succeeded at the game of life because he did what was right and he stood up for uh, a cause that he and his team believe in. And uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I know a lot of people do. Uh, and I, 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 getting tongue-tied. <laughs> a lot of other folks do as well. I'll see y'all later. Appreciate you. Push. I'm out. Go Gamecocks. Spurs up to my toes up. Fire. I'll save that for another video. See y'all later. Peace. I'm out.